friends so this is umesh and today we will create this model and basically this is a, a component of a engine so here we have some view this is the top view front and side view and i will start this model with this front view and this half shape i'm going to create and then i will use revolve okay so let's start with the annex okay so first i'm adding this and this is a front view so select this and this is my front view and uh, use the line and start with this here here again a little bit taper again taper and match with this right now dimension so this gap is given as C, the 7 and the 10 so outer die is 10 so change it to 5.0 and close now zoom it and here I need one circle so use this circle and match with this and now rest of the dimension so zoom it and this gap is given as 8 and this is 20 and uh, this is 76.9 right and uh, from this to end of this gap is given as 108 okay and the diameter of this it is over constraint no problem delete it okay and I need one more thing this is 29.7 so select from this to this point this gap is 29.6 divided by 2 right so this will be the radial gap and uh, rest thing is okay just extend it and use trim so that I can remove it and remove this click delete this okay and uh, use this constant and I want these two as tangent and the radius this radius is not given anywhere so select this click here and the last point is this 108 right and make this line as a reference so my sketch is fully constant so close and now I'm going to use revolve so this will come click here and this is a revolve select it change it to connected curve and my axis is this and click OK see and here I need one fillet so use this fillet and select this edge and the radius is given 7.6 7.6 is the radius apply again one more fillet is here and 3.4 is this close and this is hollow so I'm going to use a shell and the thickness is 10 and 7 so difference is 3 and uh, this is the diametrical difference so change it to 1.5 right it is already given select it and okay now it is hollow from inside so this is my first step right now now I need uh, this shape this one so I'm going to turn like this okay and before this the plane is at 24 so I'm going to create new plane from here from middle it is 24 okay and this is my working plane click select it and this one and okay now this shape I'm going to create using this rectangle so rectangle add circle one more circle zoom it one more circle and one more inner circle and the smaller circle is three diameter and I will share this screenshot and this image with you so that you can practice this properly click right now the dimension is this uh, one is 41 so change it to 41 and uh, this diameter is 9 so 
where is the gap where is the rest okay no problem just select this and 9 is the dia for both and uh, select this and this line make them collinear right and I'm using this trim remove it remove it and this line make this line as no this line this middle line because I don't want this so I'm changing this line into reference click over it just click over this line and press the right click and make it reference and uh, wireframe one more distance from this end and the middle of this point this gap is given as 40 so change it to 40 right, still I need uh, two more rectangles so click and one more rectangle is this one and the dimension is given as see the 30 and this side is given as 6 and its position is make them vertically align and make this horizontally align now it is middle of this shape and one more thing see it is going downwards so this is 33 by 9 this is a rectangle so draw a rectangle a little bit bigger no problem so change it this gap is given as 33 and the second one is 9 close and uh, this point and this will align vertically or just undo first match this vertically so it will be a little bit convenient for us right so this is now done finish and change the shading mode by long press of this right click and shading right now use this extrude and uh, change it to connected curve so I am using this shape downward and until next I want this up to the next and unite and apply right the first shape and the second one is this outer including this two circle and the gap is 5 so enter 5 and it is under this 24 so it is towards this 24 unite and now this is the cut this cut is in reverse direction and change the shading mode and I'm dragging it up to inside and subtract it okay and let's see the results see this okay so this is all okay now some fillet is there so use this edge fillet and the radius is 0.6 0 0.6 or 5 I don't know it is not that much clear okay I'm using this 0 0.6 and select all the edges and okay so this is the <coughs> second step now this some fins are there so I'm going to use uh, this is the top and this for side just flip like this and use this plane as a working and now orient this direction <coughs> okay <coughs> so I'm using just a single line and now dimension it the dimension is given as 49 and from this right side it is 43 see it is here and now align this with this horizontal axis right now I'm going to pattern it so use pattern curve I'm going to pattern this curve and my direction is this Y and see the pitch gap is 3 so pitch is 3 and number of instances 1 2 3 it is also 3 apply again I am doing this same thing but in reverse direction so flip the direction okay okay all the curves are on this middle but no problem 
<coughs> change the shading mode and use this extrude and this time I am changing to infer curve so all the curve is select in single time and this is how much it is okay it is 16 so enter 16 see here from middle it is 16 click and shading on and see the thickness is given as 1 here it is 1 so go to this offset and use symmetric and half of 1 is 0.5 so 0.5 is a and unite and this time the starting because it is starting from the middle see if you will see it is starting from the mid of this plane but I want to start from this selected face and click OK let's see the result right now it is starting and if you want to check it so I have one option to check it go to view and from here clip add it reverse direction see now it is okay it is properly touching reverse this is the second side so hope you understand this properly and if you want to hide hide this so this is the model and in sorry some fillet is still remain so so come to home and here the chamfer the chamfer is 2 by 45 so 2 and zoom it and okay now let's see this is uh, top view it is matching and from this side front it is also matching from the side it is also matching so thank you for watching have a nice day